Hey guys, in the spirit of April, uh, well, April Fool's Day passed by a couple days ago, and I thought that, you know, in the spirit of this month, I should do a complete prank, pranks, cracks, uh, you know, all those, those tricks all in one, and, uh, you know, just sum up all these cool, uh, really cool Google codes, the complete Google hacks, all those, you know, codes, all that stuff, and, uh, JavaScript codes that you can do, with, this is all within your browser, guys, so really, really, really cool tricks that you can always do within your browser. Just, uh, you know, if you want to play around with somebody or, you know, show off these cool tricks to anybody, feel free to. So, uh, well, with that, you have to go to Google, and uh, I have, I'll post all of these, so there's a lot, as you see, I'll post all of these into uh, the video description, so you don't have to remember them. But yeah, anyways, guys, here we go with the uh, Google Hacks. It's a complete list. First off, of course, on the list is Google Gothic. Well, actually, I should say Google Bear Share. Basically, just paste it in. I'm feeling lucky. And you see the bear logo right there, there's bear share. Okay, next one. Google logo. Now make sure you, sp you spell this one right or else you can get something wrong here. Yeah. So Google logo, L-O-C-O. -O. And oh wait, oh, maybe this one got replaced. As you see there, that's what's supposed to happen. Google Loco. It's just googleloco.com. So that's going to take you to the dig page. And then. So, next one is Google Gothic. This one's pretty cool, guys. So you, make sure you keep in mind you're pressing I'm feeling lucky in all these. Googoth. You never know. That can come in handy. I'm feeling depressed. Never know. You might want to show that to somebody someday. G moving on to Google Linux. This one's a cool, of course, Tux the Penguin. Now you can just redirect yourself back to Google. And the only reason my Google looks different, this is a good tip, guys. If you want a more advanced Google page, try out iGoogle. It syncs with your uh, account and, you know, all that stuff. So uh, check it out, iGoogle. That's Google Linux. You see the Tux the Penguin. And next is Google L33T. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to go fast here because there's a whole bunch of codes to get through. I don't want to take that long. I should have just had these pages all up. L3TT hacks are for so you see all the weird hexadecimal stuff like that. Google Emu. I mean, I'm just giving you a feel of what they all do that way, you know. Emu Fud, Elmer Fud. I'm feeling wucky. <laughs> so these are all really cool, and especially in the spirit of uh, uh, you know, April. So let me go again. Like again, like I said, I'm using iGoogle, so it looks different. It's a little different language here. I and this isn't gonna harm you as long as you can go. Oh, you can always go back to Google.com. But like I said, uh, iGoogle has a whole bunch of integrated stuff. You can get RSS feeds up here, Gmail up here, all this crazy stuff. So it's really cool, guys. And now let me go on to the next thing. Pig Latin. That was Klingon that I was speaking. So you Star Trek fans. Igpe, ate, ibue. Uh, so if you guys speak Pig Latin, there you go. I speak a little pig Latin. Google BSD. Now, I think you guys have an idea if, if you know what BSD is. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you have that. Now, Easter egg. Google Easter egg. Now, this was also recently, too. Easter. Now, these are all little tweaks, Easter eggs. I sh you can also say within the browser, or actually within the search engine that they all made. And there's the Easter eggs. And then, look at the bunny. He follows you. Oh, he should. Ah, froze the bunny. There he is. And he jumps every time you click. So that's a pretty cool one too. Again, I'll put all these uh, in the brow in the video description. Now, this one you go to the answer of life in the universe and everything. Google search it, and turns out Google calculator says the answer to life and everything in the universe is drum roll please forty two. Guys, yeah, that's uh, from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's just a little funny thing that it came up. Now, Google Mozilla. Now, I'm I'm pretty, uh, if you have Mozilla, I'm feeling lucky. You know what that is. It's, I like this one. I like this layout. I don't know why. It just always seemed cool to me. If you had the, de that, that would be the default Google uh, thing if you, when you download Mozilla. Now, this is Google Giz Google. So, 
Giz Google, home samples, text other images, bookmark your site, translate your MySpace blog, all this crazy stuff. Giz Google it. So a whole bunch of browse, like I said, uh, search engine tweaks. Now, camera hacks. This one requires ActiveX, so I'm not going to do it. If you're an IE, this would be you know, a better one to use. It's in URL. I've shared this before. In URL, f uh, viewer frame, mode equals motion. Now, show it to you real quick. I don't know if it works if you don't have a... Uh, uh, you have to Google search it now. I'm not sure if it'll work. It, it'll bring up the pages. Maybe it will work in Firefox. So, like I said, let me just go to the wood shop one. Oh, this one actually might not work anymore. This one does. Now, I, I think it does work on Firefox, but, you know, a lot of people use an IE, and here you go, look at this, guys, an actual network security camera that's hooked into the link with uh, Google's, it's on it's on Google's network type of thing. So it's just a pr really, really great, pr I mean, not really great, but really, really sneaky browser exploit, and you can move it all around, screw around with people, but that's up to you what you want to do. Basically, it's the IP address of the camera, I'm guessing. And it's using the viewer frame uh, code, and then it says mode equals motion. So that's a really cool one. Uh, what else can you do here? A whole bunch of other codes. I'm not going to get into all of these, but, you know, I'll put great pan and zoom. Uh, the user I got this one from was actually, this is the live view uh, access, and this was his favorite, so that's why it says my favorite. His uh, This one's just a, a video server, and this is pages that can't be searched. This is just You can try that out for yourself. Now, this one's actually pretty cool. Now, watch this. This one's actually password hashes, you know, a hash on, uh, now this one's, in the in title ones, you actually have to hit search, and this one actually has their, some of their password hashes, some of these that were actually open, you know, these are actually on, uh, so that's really, really crazy. Look, like, for example, this is, it's, uh, front page, now look at this one, this is, a PHP photo albums. It has a whole bunch of different accounts that were hooked up with that, so that's pretty crazy as well. VNC hack printer con control panel you can print out out of other printers, and the port it would be in URL port twenty five twenty five two fifty five sorry, uh, and then a whole bunch of stuff. So you can actually print out of other printers if you have the right port number. Now I'm not gonna, you know, go through a whole tutorial of that. that's on your own. And real quick, let me show you the Java first JavaScript code, which would be edit anything with this JavaScript code. So you just insert it in your browser, hit enter, and check this out. Whatever page you're on, it's editable. Now you can't save it. I wish you, you know, but it's always a great way to, ch you know, trick friends like on MySpace if they got like 80 new or 80,000 new friend invites or YouTube, whatever they like. So I thought that was a really cool one. And the last JavaScript and the last code of the day, guys, to kick it off, this is a really cool one. So I'm just going to copy all of that and uh, let's search images for, let's see, Google Images. It's Google Technology because that's my favorite, so one of my favorite subjects. So it's in, right? Now we put this code in. Enter. Look at the pictures, guys. How cool is that? It's a picture flow JavaScript code. Just took all your images and yeah. Now I'm not sure if you can do. I think it's only accessible on Google. You can try it on the other pages. <laughs> really cool code. And if you catch one, you can actually click it, as you see there. But yeah, really cool picture flow code. Anyways, guys, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. All the links, all the codes, a whole bunch of them, over 50, I'm guessing, or maybe over 30. Sorry, will be in the video description to you. Right? If you enjoyed this tutorial, I know I did, guys. Happy April Fool's Day. Happy, uh, you know. Happy Easter. You know, hope you guys had a great one. Uh, anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help by sending feedback or donating, email me at kidgurucenter at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.